Hey, what's up everybody? This is Gail. Today we're going to garage sales. It's raining, so that's kind of crappy, but we'll see if we can hit any of those. After that, I've got an estate sale I'm going to, then a couple of Goodwills that we'll go to. <laughs> If you're new to my channel, consider subscribing. If you like my content, click the bell notification so you'll get notified every time I upload a new video. Stay with me so you can see what I ended up getting and why. All right, let's move on. I'm back from the garage sale, estate sales, and Goodwill. And I got nothing from the garage sale. Go figure. Um, but I got stuff from the estate sale, quite a bit from Goodwill, so we'll go over this. This um, is a CD. It's for Teoma. It's a different language. Um, I don't remember what kind of language it is. I'm not sure if it's Turkish or what. Don't hate me for that. Anyway, I paid a dollar for it. The comps were showing like 40 bucks on um, Amazon, but there were no rankings. So I don't know about this. I, I saw one or two of them actually sold on eBay for like five bucks. So I'm taking a chance on this one. This is like a pasta maker thing. It's new in the box or I guess I should check, but I think it's new in the box. New, I paid $4 for it. It's about $30 new. So fingers crossed on that. Got this four line Panasonic phone for $10. The comps are kind of all over the place on this one, but they're going for $40 to $65. Um, so we'll have to wait and see how that sells. Then I got this. What is it, you ask? The answer is I don't know. But I've looked things up, and this is what you should be doing if you're doing reselling and you're trying to sell things. Don't just buy things you know. Buy things that you don't know as well. There's always a name. This is Powerhouse. And on the back of it, it says it's a voice dial system. And there is a model number. So I just looked it up. I paid $5 for it. And they're going for about $30, which isn't a bad flip. I bought this for $3. What is it, you ask? I don't know. It's acrylic, and it has dried flowers inside of it. So it could be decor. It could be a tray. But I thought it was cool. It was $3. There's, I mean, I haven't looked for comps, but it looks unique enough that there probably aren't any. There is no markings at all. But I'm digging it. So somebody's going to dig it, too. And that was for $3. And the last thing I got at the estate sale was... This kitty cat pin, mainly because it was cute. I don't wear these things, but I know people buy them. Jewels missing. Um, so I paid 50 cents for it. I don't know what I'll sell it for, if anything. All right, now on to Goodwill. So I got this brand new set of Ray Dunn um, mugs, Good Egg, Bad Egg. I think it says that on each side of it. Um, Ray Dunn is oversaturated market. I don't get why people really like them that much. But anyway, um, I paid $4.99 for it. And those were going for the set anywhere between $13 to $20, which is sucky. Um, but I did see that the, they were going individually for about $13. So that might be what I have to do. Might have to do $13 on that. Um, and just sell them individually. I bought these cool looking vans. Um, these are for women, probably. Um, it's like some kind of a starburst design. These are in really good shape. I mean, see the bottom here? I paid $7, so I'm gonna quit saying $6.99, I paid $7. The only thing is there is no tag inside like on the shoe so i don't really know how much they are and they zip up in the back and tie in the front they're pretty good uh but because the quality is good they're nice and clean i went ahead and just bought those i don't know i'll probably sell them for 25 bucks that's what i'm gonna try to sell them for we'll see i also found this brand new game it's white tailopoly um, I paid $4.99 for it at Goodwill, and you can see it's got the plastic wrapping on it, so it's still brand new. These comps show that they're going from $17 to $20 online, but I'm guessing that's going to be a real slow mover. 
so we'll see on that. The CD, it's from the Frogs. It's like for a play, like a Broadway play or something. Um, I paid, uh, let's see, 99 cents for this. It's not new, but the comps, they were about $7, so it's not a big profit. I don't really know why I got it, honestly. Um, this Kelly Clarkson CD, All I Ever Wanted, it was 99 cents. I love Kelly Clarkson, so here's the deal. These are selling for about five bucks online. Um, after I pay shipping and the dollar, I'm probably gonna lose money on that. So um, I was thinking for me, I might keep it, um, but it's got My Life Would Suck Without You. And I was wondering if it's got Since You've Been Gone. I don't see that, but anyway, I'm gonna listen to this one anyway. I don't know why I bought this for $2.99. It's Churchill's Bodyguard um, set. It's a box set of DVDs. I bought this set at an estate sale for like a dollar and I had it listed for a long time and someone bought something else and I accidentally sent this to them and they asked if they could keep it. And I'm like, well, I guess so. Rude, because I sent them what they ordered and then they wanted to keep what I sent. So, um, I don't know that I'm gonna be able to sell that. The comp show may be 13 on the good luck side. Nice looking NASCAR hat. It's number eight, which is, I don't know, some famous guy. But um, you can see the tag still there that um, also you can see there's this board or whatever inside of it. There is not a particular brand. So I think this is just some sort of a made up Thing. I paid $1.99 for it, and a lot of people like this. Is this Dale Earnhardt Jr. or something? Anyway, people like this crap, and it's embroidered. It's really nice, so I think I could flip it for something. We'll see what I decide. I'll probably try to do 15 bucks on it. <laughs> crazy, I know. Crazy. This, it's a Garmin, brand new, in the box. Look at that. Six bucks. They're going for 35 to 50. I'm gonna shoot for 50. I'm gonna need your help on some of these things because what I did was I went to the last Goodwill. I was tired, I go in and my cell phone service does not work in this Goodwill anywhere. I keep refreshing all throughout and you have two choices then. You either don't buy something because you don't know what the, what the value of it is or you go ahead and get it and you hope that you bought something that will resell. So let's go over some of these things. Um, I bought this magic holder for two ninety, yeah, three dollars. Uh, it's just holds your brooms and stuff. And I've been wanting one of these for myself. So these are selling for about eleven bucks online, and there's very little comps. So if I don't sell it, I'll keep it. Um, no big deal. This hat I paid up for this one. It was four ninety nine. It's really good shape. Um, do you see that? Um, do you see that? It's Nike. Nike True on the inside. And it says engineered to the exact specifications, something championship athletes on the inside. Okay, so what I need your help with is telling me what this is. Obviously, it's baseball, but I don't know what. Is that a team? Is that a number? I don't know. So. Anyway, I want to sell this. I paid $5, so I better be able to sell it for $25. That's what I'm hoping for. And here's another thing I need your help on because I thought it was cool. This is a athletic jacket. You can see it's real lightweight. And this is the sleeve. It's really good shape. The back says Budweiser on it. There's no... Um, cracking on the applique at all. But the front left says, grab some buds. So I thought it was really cool. It was $6 and I'm like, that's really cool. Someone who likes Budweiser would like that. I can't find a comp on it. So I'm gonna go on a limb and try to get 35 for it. <laughs> but if you know anything about it, let me know. Um, and then I got for $3 a Scrabble Upwards. This is brand new, still sealed. This is selling for $18 to $25 online. I think it may be a slow mover, but I took a chance. This, it's a Samsung 5X optical zoom or digital, I don't remember. But it's in the box, 
but it's not really new. It just has this camera. So there's a screen on here and a screen on the back. Um, I just hit the power button. It doesn't work. There is a battery, so that is good. And I'll have to see if there's a memory card. I looked at the comps on this. I paid $8 for it. And this is really good for vloggers who want to see themselves. It's going anywhere between $10 and $38 online. So I don't really know. I'm gonna shoot for the $25 range maybe, but I learned something at Goodwill, y'all. You know how they're always putting these like V's and ones and R's and all that? I asked how much this was because there's no sticker. And she said five, six, seven, eight. That's seven ninety nine. Yeah, the five is a V. Roman, it's Roman, Roman numerals. I had no idea. That's what this is. If the sticker gets taken off, they know what the real price is. Had no idea. None. Okay. The next thing I got is this Pie Keeper. It's brand new. Um, I got that for $5 and it's going online anywhere between $25 and $50. This was made in Portugal. This, y'all, I'm telling you, I'm taking chances on everything here in this section because um, I didn't have my phone working. Here's the next thing I bought. It's a quesadilla maker, um, Santa Fe. This is brand new in box. I opened it and it's still taped. Like it's got all the everything. I paid $6 for this and it's selling for about 50 online. So that was a good, I wasn't real sure. So my thought process was, do I think it will sell? If not, will I be able to use it? Or is it cheap enough that I can turn around and resell it locally just like for a couple bucks more? And that's what I did. And maybe I'd hit the jackpot. And I think I did on that one. I think that's good if I can sell that brand new for 50 bucks. That's it. <laughs> All this stuff. Look at my cat. She's drinking coffee. So cute. Thank you for watching. Um, subscribe if you're not already. And comment and let me know what you think. I would really appreciate if you could tell me what you think about this jacket. And if you could definitely tell me what this is. This has got to be a team. But I have no clue what that is. So... Let me know if you can. I would totally appreciate it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.